More testimony today in the murder trial for the man accused of running over a family in downtown Louisville. WDRB's Molly Jett explains the arguments in the case against Michael Hurley. Molly. The state argues Hurley's blood sample result has a high level of fentanyl in his system during the time of the crash. However, the defense argues with witnesses on the stand that they have an inconsistent chain of custody. The deadly crash happened at 2nd and Market Streets in July 2022. Attorneys played the jury graphic body camera footage from the aftermath. The Jones family was in town for a basketball tournament. Trey Jones was killed. His daughter Ava and wife Amy were seriously hurt. In the body camera footage, you can see several bystanders and Good Samaritans trying to help the family. Hurley was walking around freely. The footage also shows officers eventually making contact with Hurley and sitting him down on the open trunk of a car. On the stand today, LMPD officers testified saying Hurley was not able to stay awake when questioned at the scene. Prosecutors are making the argument Hurley was intoxicated at the time of the crash. Hurley's attorneys are countering, saying the officers are not trained medical professionals and Hurley could have simply been in shock or resting. Deborah Johnson was a witness in town for the same basketball tournament for her daughter. She saw the crash and shared what stays in her mind to this day. It was going pretty fast. Um, I, the view of the family was obscured a little bit by a truck. There was a black pickup truck that had kind of pulled up a little bit. So when the um, when his car actually hit them, I saw more like the body flying above the truck. Hurley's charged with murder, assault, and driving under the influence. He faces up to 70 years in prison. Court is expected to start again around 8.30 tomorrow. Ava and Amy are expected to testify. With photojournalist Mason Mills, I'm Molly Jett, WDRB News.